interesting. today after so long this is the box with the um fine jewelry as you can see they have all kinds of stones actually and then i was looking at the capucine um mini this is the fun yellow one and then uh, with the cute handle so i tried on the black one but i think it is pretty small but it is a mini bag i actually do um i did like a few of their sunglasses so this was one of them i think it's pretty um like you know cute but yet, um, you know, quite cool, chic, very in your face with the huge LV logo. But it is really nice. I think it did suit me, so I'll think about it. Here's the um fashion jewelry with the tiny pouches, and the sunglasses wall, I guess. And I tried out another pair. This is more like aviator kind of, and I did like this pair a bit more. And this was also pretty nice. My mom liked this one on me. And here, just looking at the shoes um, that they have. I love these ballerinas, but always they do not have my size. And I really thought that this dress was really, really cute and chic. Very nice material. And here I'm trying on the Capucine BB, which is quite big, so it's not really babyish. Or is that medium? Anyway, this is the cute yellow one with the fun handle, um, crinkled kind of handle, which is really cute. The yellow is nice, a bright pop of color. Just looking at the twist, this is in white, but because of the lighting, it looks a bit like um yellowish. But you know, I don't know why, I just never pulled the trigger on the twist. Even though it is a nice sturdy bag, this is the Pont 9, I think. And I think it's quite nice. It's soft leather, it has a big LV logo and some magnetic closure. So it has kind of like accordion-like um, look on the sides and it is not very spacious but it's kind of a medium sized bag so looking at the three bags here you know I think I like the Dior the most and here are the twists and oh I love this case it is the Vivienne on the holiday section the limited edition section and here is the very small epi leather um forgot the name I'll put the name on here and I tried on the Speedy 20 which is really small in the navy um shiny navy blue material here Razif my essay is showing me the um, mini trunk where you can keep your jewelry um watches etc so he's trying to tell me that I should get it but I'm not too sure yet about mini trunks and here I'm looking at the Speedy 20 again uh, it has silver hardware as you can see I just never ever got a speedy i feel like i don't know i just feel like it doesn't really suit me even though it's such an lv classic and here's actually a smaller trunk this is the sixteen thousand ringgit and it is really well made but i don't know so here i tried on a set of rings uh, it is basically three rings together white gold rose gold and yellow gold not too sure and the malachite bracelet uh, to be honest, I think LV fine jewelry is pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, I don't have any from LV, so we'll see. This was kind of my favorite bag that I tried on, surprisingly. The On The Go PM in Ompron Leather. It's a very simple design. This is the taupe color. Very simple design, so it looks very fresh and modern. And to be honest, it does look better in person. So I can't decide if I like that color more or black. Tried on the Speedy 25 just for fun. And the Porsche Matisse in the Ompron with the giant logo. I don't really think it's for me, to be honest. And then, um, yeah, this is the Pate Palais a bag, uh, which I don't know. So, Porsche Matisse, uh, Taupe on the Go PM, Pate Palais, the Speedy 25 in a taupe color as well, which I didn't like that much on me. Um, so my favorite here is actually on the Go PM. So this is just the twist wallet on chain. Just wanted to see how it looks. This is the Grenelle, and to be honest, I didn't really like it in person. So my favorite was still this one. And you know, if you let me know which one you prefer on me, black or the taupe, would really appreciate that. Here I was just looking at the um 
limited editions. Again, this is the China version, the holiday in China. And here's what I got, guys. So the um, pandas are really cute. The panda is really cute, but I think um, I still prefer the other one, which I got. From Louis Vuitton, which I didn't expect to get. Four Seasons, uh, guys, tonight I want to try out the dinner buffet at Four Seasons with my mom. Can't wait to eat. So this is our first time at Four Seasons KL actually and it's right next to KLCC. You can actually walk. I really like the um, restaurant, it's called Curate and um, yeah, I just took some mirror videos. I love oysters but I only had a few because I didn't feel like eating too much of oysters tonight. And I absolutely love seafood so I took quite a bit of like prawns, crabs um, and I really like the view. Just took a little bit of everything. I really like the soup, by the way. And, you know, just wanted to take a video of kind of Malaysia's skyline. Um, I really, really love this naan, a kind of Indian flatbread. So I just put some butter on top. And they had a good selection of salads and some Malaysian desserts. Th um, this is what we call um, a kind of red bean, oh sorry, black sesame oh, dessert. Just admiring Miss Dior and all her clothes and I love the scene in this place. This is kind of the dessert section. Um, there's as you can see a lot of little bites which were great because then they were not too much. And these are lamingtons and these are brownies I think. Over the side, these are Malaysian desserts. Uh, these are what we call kueh. What we call kueh, sorry. So these are kind of like sweet cakes. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So it was really an impulse trip today to Louis Vuitton, as you can see. I hope you liked the vlog earlier. Um, I met up with my essay, Razif, like, which, who I haven't seen in a very, very long time. And he's just still as nice as ever and sweet as ever. So um, yeah, I was really surprised that I could get the limited edition Vivian collection. So I can't wait to do the unboxing with you guys. So um, I got two items today. So one is a gift and um, one is for myself. So let's go right into it. I forgot which is which, so I'll just go right into one of them first. So I have two paper bags today because he knew one of them was a gift. So now they have that Louis sticker right here, which I know I thought was quite cute. I mean, I guess I haven't been to LV in a very, very long time. And as you know, I tried on some bags as well, and I'll just share with you like which one I think I'm going to get. And today I wore my um, white gold mother of pearl set already. So it's still my birthday weekend, so I went to Four Seasons um, just with my mom. It was like an impulsive um, dinner thingy and we had buffet and like I'm seriously super full. But the atmosphere and the ambience at um, Four Seasons Hotel in Malaysia in KL is really nice and good view of everything as you can see, um, the KL view. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little, um, the little buffet snippets. So here it is guys, I noticed that there is a new like kind of um, Card. I mean, this is the envelope with the usual greeting card where you can write a message inside. So with the blue ribbon and it is a drawer box. Oh, and I think this is the item that I got. So here it is guys. It's been a long time since I've bought anything Louis Vuitton. So here it is. And I got the Vivian collection. Vivian Holiday Con... Um, in London guys, oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is Vivian as you can see. There's a corgi here. I think that's because Queen Elizabeth has a lot of um, doggies, corgis. And then um, the um, soldier with the um, bear skin, bear, yeah, bear skin hat. Traditionally it's bear skin, but I think it's no longer. The Damir Iben print with the telephone booth. It's so cute guys. And then like, I think this is a big band snowflakes very wintry and the floor is um kind of like lv with the um fleur de lis uh, pattern right here it's so cute so it is a regular zippy wallet it's lined in hot pink of fuchsia and here's the tag and then um also there's another tag coated fabric because this is made of canvas it has quite a lot of compartments guys 
So um, yeah, I think it's more spacious than my Chanel coin purse actually. And I can't wait to use it. So I think I'm going to use this more as a card holder rather than a wallet because I'm still going to use my purple Chanel wallet, which I've been using since forever. So I'll show you quickly what fits. Sorry, that's my Shih Tzu. Okay, guys, so let's transfer the stuff I have in my Chanel boy coin purse into the Zippy wallet from LV. As you can see, it is bigger. The LV is bigger than the um, Chanel wallet. I mean Chanel coin purse so it has oh it still has the sticker on the hardware so let me remove that I really really like removing the stickers from the hardware and um, this was really hard to get guys this Vivienne in on holiday collection basically the webs it is sold out on the website and I can't I, I was super happy that I could get it today I got the sticker out and it's a very um, shiny hardware it says um, Louis Vuitton on the zipper um, engraved onto it so let's start like I just want to show you what fits so I have it quite full up to the brim so let's just try putting stuff inside so I have one two three four uh, four cards let's put it in I love LV canvas pieces guys it's very hardy and I love how, you know, it has quite a few compartments. Apart from the two large ones, you have like one here, another one here. So that would be great for your ID. And same over here and in the middle as well. So um, I guess I have some cash, which I kind of have to fold because I'm, uh, I was, I'm using my a Chanel Boy coin purse, which is actually quite small, but I guess I'm used to it by now. I'm not used to using long wallets anymore so I have like some cash here um, I think I just have to fold it once and it's great it fits like for the Chanel one I have to fold it three times oh wait I have another two cards debit card my bank card so I'll put it in here this compartment here I'll have to say that actually this one is actually more spacious than um, the Chanel boy coin purse so it is super super cute as well guys so I'm just gonna like use it now and then but right now I'm gonna use it for like my cards uh, you know like you know all the uh, I don't know discount cards um, touch and go which is basically our electronic payment um, system in Malaysia so I think uh, later it's gonna be just you know in a e-wallet on your phone but Anyway, I'm going to use this to keep like the additional cards and because it's quite flat, I think it will have no problems fitting into my small bags even together with this uh, purple one because I, I still like the purple one but you know, I just couldn't resist when I saw this because um, I studied in London so this, this definitely is the super, I mean it's like my favourite one. They have another one in Japan, in uh, China which I think I showed you on the Felicity, Felicity I think yeah, with the pandas and all and bamboo is really cute but uh, my number one um, print that I really really loved is the one of Vivian in London and then there's LV here is it oh no sorry it's not LV that's a street lamp and a double decker bus is super cute guys okay so for the other item in another paper bag also the Louis sticker um, this is the envelope with the receipt as usual and then here it is guys, I got a little gift. It's gonna be a Christmas gift from my brother. So I hope he doesn't watch this. I think he doesn't. And here's the dust bag. And I just got him a simple reverse monogram card holder, as you can see. So it's just a very um, classic piece. It's canvas, so I don't wanna stre stretch it out, but basically it has just, it's very slim and he can probably use his, put his business cards or you know, just if you're like rushing out, you can use this instead of a full-on um, wallet. So it says Louis Vuitton Paris right here. I'm going to get his um, initials monogram as well the next time I go. So this is, this is, this is it guys, you know, LV uh, card holders are very um, hardy, especially when they're in canvas. To be honest, my Chanel card holder looks a bit old now because it was it is pink lambskin so i probably need to get one for myself but yeah so that is a gift so guys talking about the bags that i tried 
I think you can tell that I really really like the on the go PM but I'm not sure if I should get the uh, taupe color because my mom said that it kind of looks like the e-tube I have on my garden party um 30 or if I should get the black one with the beige um LV the logos I know that just recently I was saying that I wasn't really into logo bags but the logos on this bag just seem super fun and not really really like you know like flashy in a way it's just super fun I don't know and maybe because the size is quite small as you can see so I think that is the size of a Birkin 25 so I'll share the measurements on the screen um, the split screen here so that you can have a look on LV's website but I think a high chance of me getting that one versus um, all the other bags that I tried the twist has been there for the longest time but I just never pulled the trigger there must be a reason so I maybe I just don't love it enough um, and epi leather is very very stiff and very hard I really like the on the go PM which is made of Ompron leather and with the giant LV logo so that's the um, that's the difference between the this bag and the regular Ompron leather which I'll show you pictures and maybe a video of like from the LV website and yeah I think actually that was my favorite but I can't decide between black or the taupe color do let me know and unfortunately the white is already um, off season so there's no more stock so I can only choose between the taupe and the black and they actually have a blue color a new blue with like looks a bit like a glittery kind of blue but I, I don't know why I, I mean I don't love it I either like the black or the taupe so to be honest I don't really have a lot of black bags I mean as in like recently I've been buying a lot of colored bags because I always kind of felt like black bags were a bit too safe too boring but I think you know black bags definitely are needed as well in one's a closet depending on your outfit right it has a nice shoulder strap I think it's a bit too I think it's a bit too short for a crossbody but I think it's just right like on my shoulder so that's why I liked it um also I tried on the capucine um or is it cappuccino I can't I can never really remember but um you know that is actually one of LV's more expensive bags it's more top of the line um, it's full leather obviously and it, quite, it is pretty heavy, quite substantial. I like the mini size but you know, I think it's a little bit too small. My mom kept saying it was a little bit too small. Let me know what you think guys but I think the on the go uh, PM is actually quite underrated. You know at first when I saw it I was like oh my gosh that looks a bit like Dior's book toad. Like it's like totally inspired but um, when I saw it in person I really liked it much much more. It's very sleek, uh, very modern and um, I know it just looks fresh. You know, I mean, I love Chanel's designs, etc. But you know, Chanel's designs, I guess, a little bit fussier in a sense. It's very ladylike, right, etc. And Dior as well, which I love. But sometimes it's nice to have something like kind of sleek, uh, more modern and fresh. So I think I do want to get the on the go PM. Do let me know what you guys think, right? Um, and if you prefer the black or the taupe color, really appreciate your feedback as per usual. So guys, I'm super happy that I got my Damir Iban in Vivian in um, London today. And so, yeah, I can't wait to see you at my next video. And thanks again for all the birthday wishes. Really, really appreciate it. And all your lovely comments as per usual. So I'll see you really, really soon. And tomorrow is Monday. So if you're working, happy Monday. Happy going back to work. And you know, that's me. So I'll see you really soon, guys. And uh, if you've watched this far, please do give this video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. Do let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you soon. Bye.